This video is sponsored by Patty's Asset Flip Smorching Good Time. Pre-order the remastered version now on G2A for an exclusive collector's edition that includes your very own box of Smorch Flakes, along with Smorch's new book, Being Smorch, the story of how I ate Pandemic Studios. Now available for the low price of 200 septums. Release date quarter 4, 2017. All rights reserved. Smorch Flakes may not taste as advertised or even exist. Well, now we have our answer to whether or not G2A is committed to making changes to their systems and doing right by developers and consumers. Spoiler alert, they aren't. Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition is released today, and Gearbox is now officially pulled out of their exclusive deal with G2A to provide a collector's edition of the game through their website. This came after an ultimatum released by Gearbox and Total Biscuit yesterday, saying that G2A needed to state formally their intent to adhere to requests that they make major changes to their website and services within set time periods, before the release of Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition. Now, in yesterday's video, I sent out an olive branch over to G2A saying they must want to help the industry in some capacity, and it would be in their best interest to accept these reasonable terms. Needless to say, they have not accepted it or issued a statement on the matter at all. So Gearbox has announced that they will be pulling out of their exclusivity contract, which they have said the terms allow them to do so. I don't expect G2A to even release a statement about the situation. This company has demonstrated that it has no intention of bettering their practices or working in favor of developers and consumers. The media backlash they've received in the past number of days has been extreme, and it increased the already lopsided views of their business model and company. Releasing a statement would therefore be futile for G2A, as it would only serve to increase the attention on them at this time, and alert their remaining customers that the company is involved in shady practices. Believe me, G2A wants as few people to be aware of the inner workings of their selling systems because it makes them a substantial amount of money, and they're not technically responsible for any illegal action that might happen when users obtain keys to sell on the website, right? For G2A, burying information is the name of the game, as they've demonstrated in the past. They have an ongoing spotlight of indie developers working with the website, which they say is to better the website and make it more safe for everyone. The reality is they've done absolutely nothing to reduce the amount of shady key selling on their website. They've kept their extremely shady buyer protection policy and used their developer partnerships as nothing more than a distraction from the main issues. They think you're a dog that they can distract by pretending to throw a ball, but instead keeping it behind their back. So there we have it, our official answer to the ultimatum issued by Gearbox yesterday. I would be very surprised to see G2A make any sort of statement at this point. I would like to once again though thank Gearbox for honoring their commitment to pulling out of the deal after the realities of the website became more apparent to them. I'm sure that the bad PR they received play a huge part in the decision, but it's good to see positive developer and publisher practices for the part of the consumer. Thanks should also go out to Total Biscuit, who handled this entire situation like a professional and worked to protect consumers. Regardless of your personal feelings about the individual, this is a benefit to you directly and something to support. A precedent has been set in the video game industry. For the first time in a long while, a major publisher and developer has stuck it against negative consumer practices. What's more is they actively did so in a short amount of time while working with consumers to do so. This is what the video game industry should do more often. Publishers and consumers can get along, especially when presented with a common enemy. My only regret is that G2A squandered the opportunity to put their money where their mouth is. Key selling is not inherently a bad thing. As long as keys are proven and verified to be bought through legal means, then everyone involved wins. The problem with websites like G2A is that it's extremely easy to sell keys bought through illegal means, which hurts the developer and the consumer alike. There was a prime time here to begin to clear the name of grey market key resellers, but that has unfortunately fallen prey to a corporation that would rather plug their ears to reality while they can still make money. Nonetheless though, this is a win for consumers and developers. I'm looking forward to see what we can do off the back of this. What do you think about this entire situation and how it played out? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, because I'm a really cool guy and um, pre-order them damn Smorch Flakes. I am Patty Jack, and I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.